Hi everyone, this is Ants. I was having a conversation with Kenny and Kay, um, and Kenny posted that his frustration uh, about basically um, sharing external materials across uh, an entire uh, asset pack, right? Because both Kay and Kenny create amazing asset, 3D asset packs. And with Godot 4, you have to manually assign shared materials um, or extracted materials, if it's the same one, uh, manually one by one, and you can't do it in bulk. Uh, unfortunately, in version three of Godot, you could actually do that in bulk, but in four, for some reason, it's gone. So I basically chimed in and I basically said, I had to go through the exact same thing in a recent game jam. I had over a hundred tiles from uh, Cake Kit's dungeon pack, and all the models basically just use the same texture for their materials and to improve performance and reduce the number of draw calls and reduce the size of your uh, game binaries you actually want to basically assign all your um, um, pre-made asset packs to the same um, material if they do use the same texture that type of thing but anyways uh, apparently, Kay was listening in on this conversation on X and basically uh, chimed in and basically said, um, hey, um, Ants and Kenny and Godot Engine, this plugin by uh, Dragon One Freak, it solves all these issues and has a bunch of other uh, quality of life improvements. So this is a go-to plugin for speeding up the workflows when using pre-made uh, assets from both Kay and Kenny. Well, I gotta plug them, so that's why I did that. But anyways, I'm gonna show you this plugin. This whole video is about this plugin that should be part of your uh, workflow. It's actually quite good, and we're gonna go through the use case of uh, both. I'm gonna show you the plugin. Okay, so where to get the plugin? So don't worry about the URL, I'll have it in the description. Uh, it's relatively new, just a couple of months old. It works, uh, it's a, a Godot 4.4 plugin. And um, uh, again, the, the person who created it is Dragon One Freak, and it tells you how to install it. And there's basically a bunch of use cases: is setting external materials to a, a bunch of models in bulk. You could do that. You could extract the materials uh, in bulk. Um, you could create scenes from the um, models in bulk uh, and when you do that it you could set the path of where to put the scenes you could also create the collision shapes the colliders from the meshes right and you could select uh, what uh, collision shape it uses like it's all uh, there and you could also extract uh, meshes too but I'm going to show you all all it does and so um, this is where to get it, and we're going to go to Godot right now. So I have Godot up. This is basically a blank uh, project. I uh, installed the Bulk Model Manager, and it's BMM for short. So we're going to make sure the plugin is enabled, Bulk, bulk Model Manager, BMM. And what this does is it adds another tab to the dock here, and it's similar to like the import, but it's import for multiple uh, GLB, GLTF, or FBX. And those are the th three formats it supports. And from here, uh, in bulk, you could create scenes, <coughs> you could extract materials, and you could extract uh, meshes and materials, right? So <coughs> we need some models in here. So I'm gonna get some models from KKit's uh, dungeon pack. So, and again, I just, to organize it, I put an assets folder. I have materials and models. And I, I'm gonna dump a bunch of models in the models folder. So I'm gonna just go over here, go to the banners and drag and drop it in. And it's gonna import them all. All right. So unfortunately it imported each one and it imported them as a separate, the texture are extracted. And you don't need all these textures because it's the exact same texture. If I'm going to every texture, it's the exact same texture. And it's 1K by 1K, right? It takes up space. So what you want to do is I want to extract uh, the material out of here, 
right? So I'm gonna click on here and I'm gonna say extract materials. I'm gonna set the path. I have two monitors, so it goes to the other one. So I'll go to assets and then go to materials, select this folder, and then I'm gonna click on apply. Okay, and it was fast and now I have a material. And I'm gonna now assign all the remaining uh, models to this material. So as you can see, the material is all here. So how am I gonna do that? Okay, it's actually quite easy now. So I'm just gonna uh, filter out this and just get the GLB files and I'm gonna select all of them, right? And then I'm gonna add the material that I just created right and I'm gonna apply that material to every one I selected here okay and I'm gonna click on apply and it's been done so um, so I gotta prove it to you right so let's go into here go to materials and as you can see here, this is the first one I did. Of course, it's pointing to textures.tres. Uh, so let's go to the next one. And this one too. And the third one. And then I'm gonna go to the last one because you know we don't have to go through every one of them. And they're all assigned the same material now, which is fantastic, okay? So, now, um, we finished the use case of Kenny's problem and my problem during the game jam. I literally assigned every single uh, model that I selected to the same texture. And now I could delete all these other um, textures and all that kind of stuff. But there's more that this plugin can do now. So, and by the way, this plugin could do the next step I'm doing at the same time that I just did the extracting of the texture there. All of these are can be done at the same time. So again, we're gonna to go to GLB, filter them out. I'm gonna select all of them and I'm gonna create a scene, right? For each one of these models, it's gonna create a scene for me. I mean, we do it all the time, but we have to do it one at a time, right? So now you, I, we're gonna make it scenes are inherited. I gotta set the path. And I created a folder called scenes and it's an empty folder. I'm going to use that folder. And here's the other thing it can do. You, oh, you could change in bulk the root node type. But you could also um, you could also create the colliders, right? And you could change this uh, the, the shape too, right? So this is fantastic because uh, you would have to do this manually one by one by one, right? But I'm going to have to do that. I'm just going to create the scenes and then I'm going to click apply right um, and it basically says when you do the scene uh, because of caching and all that kind of stuff it basically says reload the project after you do this right so I'm going to click OK and it created the scenes but the materials uh, might not be assigned. So I'm gonna reload the project, right? Because as you can see, it did, something it did change and you have to reload the project, right? So go to project, reload query projects, save and reload. And there you go. So now let's go down and uh, let's see. Right. Um, if anything happened, uh, the texture wouldn't show up here. Right. Um, and again, it's using that. Uh, it's called texture. So, and it's if you see the the name, it's using texture dot res. Yeah, that's great. And go here. And as you can see, it's pointing to the exact same uh, material for all of them. So as you can see, what I showed you on this plugin is this plugin could uh, help you make uh, assign hundreds of models to the same material. It could in bulk, in bulk, in bulk also create scenes. 
and uh, when you create the scenes in bulk, it could create the colliders from the mesh is. And I don't know what any use case is uh, to extract the meshes. I think maybe you could reuse maybe certain parts of the model and extract them so that you could put the sword on another person's, uh, on another model's hand, I think, maybe. I don't know. But uh, I'm pretty sure smarter than people than me know why that's uh, uh, useful, right? So anyways, uh, very, very good um, plugin. It's probably gonna get better. He's probably gonna fix why you have to reload the project, but that's not really that big of a deal. It's doing a lot. Like it actually created a lot of things, right? And the collision shapes, it's great and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, fantastic. Um, I thought I would want to share it with you and I wanna thank Kay for sharing her knowledge and I'm, I'm sure the reason why she told me is because I basically complained that I had to waste 25 minutes on her asset pack to do this. But anyways, thank you, Kay, for doing this. And thank you, Dragon One Freak. And thanks for the audience for, I hope you guys found it useful. Again, Kay and Kenny, I got to plug them. They have amazing um, 3D assets. They have free versions, but they also have... Um, more uh, extensive uh, asset packs where if you pay a small uh, uh, fee, you get even more stuff. Also, they have Patreon pages that have uh, exclusive uh, models that you could um, uh, download um, through Patreon, okay? So anyways, that's basically it. It's called Bulk Model Manager. Hope you uh, enjoyed the video and take care.